Hey everyone, it's Kelly. Oh. Welcome back to my channel, and today it's a really exciting video because I am going to be making Phil and Spiffy's Happy Llama with you guys. So basically, I'm going to watch Phil and Spiffy's tutorial and then I'm going to make it with you guys. So we'll get started. And first, we'll make the ears and this is the color that I'm going to be using for the main skin part. And this is the fur. Nine millimeter pony beads, two pink for the cheeks, one black for the mouth. First, we'll make the ears. So, make a cap band, pull through. Back and through the cap band. Both ends back on the hook. So, right now we're going to do the second deer. I did make one before, actually made two of them. I'm actually kind of knowing how to do it. But sometimes I forget, so I still have to watch the tutorial. Um, the reason why I'm going to be having three llamas is because I'm going to make um, a Rainbow Loom Zoo. So there will be animals inside it and peoples inside it. And then two ears ready. I'm going to make the tail. And fill up your hook. Phil Spiffy said we're gonna fill up five, but this time I'm actually gonna fill up seven. One, two, three, four, five. That. And then. Take one band, twist it, so it's doubled, and I'm going to put through everything, both ends back on my hook. I'm going to pull through one more, and then I'm going to take two bands and tie it off. So like that. Tail. So, for the eyes, you can just take two bands and then push it through, but it would be even more better if you used a crochet hook or a mini beginner rainbow hook. Some are smaller, you can just push it, it could go through the hole of the 9mm pony beads. You can just pull that through, that will be more, much more easier than just pushing it through. And for this, it's the same thing. Maybe this is too big. So like that, pull through two bands. And then the cheeks, doubled and then doubled again. So like that, maybe for the tail, you'll wanna fix it a little bit. Big pom-pom part. So, so now we'll make the legs. If you're an expert loomer, maybe you can even watch this video and do it with me, but I'm just going to start doing the legs without fast forwarding. So that's a good thing for me. So, I'm going to be using these two colors again, and then we're going to have your loom wrong and facing towards you. And then we're going to start at the bottom. I'm going to start. So I haven't made any of these legs yet, so you're going to make it with me. A triangle. Okay. 
make four of them on two of them. So basically, um, you can do so if you can do it this way, or if you watch the tutorial, and Stiffy did it this way. So either way is the same. But if you made it this way, I'm going to leave it here just in case you did it too. So like that. Got all four legs. Again, don't worry. These four are exactly the same as this one. It's just like that, you know? It's the same. So, we're going to take two bands. Wrap it around your hook three times. Um, I just like to wrap it around my hook. Um, you can do it on the loom as well, but sometimes it's, it just falls off, so it's hard for me. So, I'm going to do it on all of our four legs. And then we're going to loom it out. We don't have to turn our loom around because it's already turned around. Loom all of these out. So if you guys are wondering, llamas are actually, um, I think they're kind of like type of sheep. Maybe some of you haven't heard of it yet. It's just um, maybe a bigger or taller neck sheep. So maybe in this situation, sometimes the bands, um, they, it looks like it's about to break or sometimes there's something yucky on it. I'm going to pop this off and then take two bands again. I'm just gonna... Loom that back. So it make, just makes it better. So don't risk the broken band. If it snaps, then that'd be bad. Or maybe if it falls off. Then you could fix it by going through your cap band. I'm going to push it all the way down and then um, we're going to do three rows all the way around. Like that, and flip the bottom four. I think if you are like a pro luma, you could follow this with me. You could make it with me because you already know how, um, maybe how looming works or you kind of get the idea. You could just watch me go while you make it too. 
it might be harder for a beginner because I won't really explain things really well. So I won't explain that. Um, the next row, you're going to flip the bottom four. Maybe I'm not going to say that maybe. You could comment down below to tell me if you like these videos or not. But by the way, um, I will be, maybe I will be filming every single day if I have time. So that's a good thing for me because I want more videos on my YouTube channel. Two rows all the way around. I'm flipping the bottom four. And then I'm going to do one more row. I'm going to pull that leg up later. After this row, I'm going to do um, two fur rows. So the one with fur on it. So if you're interested about um, that zoo that I talked about earlier, um, I will be having a, a video on it. So I'm letting you entering the zoo, the zoo of Rainbow Loo. I'm going to bring up the center cap in. So after I've done my three rows, I'm going to do two rows, adding the fur. So the fur is basically one band, twist around your hook, and another band, twist around your hook, pull through like that. I'm going to place onto the loom. So, I'm going to be doing this all the way around, a little triangle. I'm actually going to like alternate between these two colors. So as you can see, this is brown and then pink and then the next one is going to brown pink brown pink brown pink if you've seen my other videos you may notice that i'm more talkative so because i i do before i don't really have much stuff to talk about because most of the parts i'm going to fast forward through or cut them off but this time I'm not going to edit so I'm going to chat with you more
so I might actually haven't ever seen a llama before in my life, even in the zoo. I went there many times when I was little, actually, but I've never ever seen a llama. But I did see sheep. Well, I do have a fun story when I was little at the zoo. So I remembered I went to the zoo with my aunt and my uncle. And then we were having fun at the zoo together with my whole family. So basically um, my whole family only has three people. So me, my mom and dad. And then, um, again, my aunt and uncle's coming too, so we have five people in total. And I saw a machine that gives you um, the sheep, sheep's food. Um, I went to buy two packs for us to feed the sheep. And then something really funny happened. When we finished feeding the sheep, one of them pooped and then it rolled over the grass. We, we all laughed. Well, actually that place, um, it has a really steep hill with grass on it so we could slide we could slide on too so that let me flip the bottom floor so that slide we just played on it and then at the end of the day, we did buy some keychains. It was a pink sheep keychain. Well, at that place, they did, they even sell those, the milk from the sheep and going to do another row. I guess that was the last time I ever went to a zoo. So due to the coronavirus, all of you should have known now. Normally at summer, we'd go camping, we'd go um, to other countries and play right there, but right now, we're basically stuck in our house, nowhere else to go because due to the virus. And the reason why I'm filming this video is because, um, maybe because I have a lot of time and then maybe I could, um, due to this time, maybe I could film more videos. Do not waste so much time on stuff that may be. So I'm kind of going to give her a shout out to thank her from giving me so much ideas in Rainbow Room. She was basically the person that made Finn, that made Rainbow Room amazing for everyone. She is really popular though.
I bought my zoo, my rainbow zoo. zoo. Um, I'm actually not gonna say much to you yet, cause I want this to be like um, a surprise for you guys. So I'm not gonna be a spoiler yet. The person that's going to be introducing it to you is my rainbow room guy. So actually, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go back and check if I did alternate through these bands. I wanna alternate through them because I think they, they'd look better so the fur won't just stay the first color and then turn to another color suddenly and then stays that color for very long and then change to another color suddenly so that'd be weird so if I'd put my bands like that the colors would be matching so I'm going to change it to the other way so this is actually really time consuming especially when I'm filming because I had to say stuff and I'll sew with the legs flip the bottom four so actually the first llama I've made is cotton candy color, so pink, blue, and purple. So for my zoo, I actually wanted um, realistic color, color animals. So I'm gonna make, so every animal, I'm going to make two of them. My imaginary llama doesn't count for one. So I, I made this, and then this is the second one I'm gonna make. This one is actually the first, um, no. Um, I actually made that today. So, two llamas a day. Actually great because I, I will remember more stuff so I don't have to keep taking peeks at the specific tutorial. And I could focus more on my video. So I'm just pulling them up right now, so like that, and then um, she said that we're going to reduce, well not kind of reduce, but we're just going to bring in the, the top two, so I should have explained this actually, so I'm, I'm just going to grab the top two. It's coming from this pin, so I'm going to bring it to the opposite pin. So, wherever that's coming from, just bring it to the opposite pin. Do it on every leg. Sometimes it is pretty hard to figure out are the bands like. Um, it's pretty hard to find the top two bands sometimes for me even. But sometimes it's just really easy to find. I'm gonna pull those fluff bands out. And for this leg, if you did it like that, um, actually the point, um, whatever side is actually okay, I think. Doesn't matter much. Grab the room. So that 
I've done it on every single leg. So, I'm gonna take it off. Like that. I'm actually kind of separating those two parts. Take two bands. Pull through my first section. Center it. Again, two bands for the second part. Like that. And then the cap band. For some of you, maybe it will pop out. It's just gonna push it back in through the leg. So this is basically one leg and we're going to cut that to all of our other legs. Band, pull through the first section, center it, pull that fur out before you pull two bands through because maybe it would be harder when you already pulled through to be that push the cap in. You get a big flip. And then pop through everything. Last foot. Yay. It just feels so good. After all your hard work finally paid off. I really like all my projects. I think they're all pretty cute. Four of them. The bed for finally making the body with you guys. So we're going to put wrap bands, so the fluff bands first. One, two, three, four, five, six. Put cap bands on them. It's just the fur bands that you just did. So one band to store once. So only on four pins. And then skin color. Make an X. And then cap band. Two bands wrapped around once. Two bands wrapped around once. the sides. Zoom it out. So the band is on the bottom. I'm gonna loom that first. Like that. And then I'm going to flip over the fur bands. So like that. And then Push it down, and then we're going to do one row all the way around with fur, just to remind you. You could load up your hook first, and and then pull through. Maybe that'd be faster for you. Bottom four. Push down. And then I'm going to add my mouth band right here. 
So one band doubled, place it like that, and then I'm going to stretch it. Double band, one single band doubled and then wrapped around these four pins. And then right now we're going to increase these two pins. So we're going to bring all of them up, bring the top two back, and then same thing right here. Push those down and then we're going to do a row around but then on these two spots you're going to add your ears and then the ears first we'll place them Here, the second ear, and then um, the fluff on the extra spots. Go in all of those extra, extra spots. I kind of want to wrap around my hook with these bands when I go, actually. Sometimes rainbow loom could be really exhausting. So tired or hard. Sometimes for me, my back gets sore or my hands elbows sometimes hurt when I do hours of rainbow so like that and then we'll flip the bottom bands so it'll be four two two four two two I mean four two two Push those down, and then um, you're actually going to ignore that math band. And then we're going to increase again. So I could just take the top two, bring them up. Again, top two, bring it up. Bang. I think I'm actually going to unstick it later. So, this is our eye row. The eyes are going to go above our ears. Just kind of want to make sure that push the bands down. The eyes are actually going to go a spot below. Like that and then just two beans at the front no fluff and then fluff all the way around the rest. Mm. could start anywhere actually Takes quite a time, quite a long time. You don't really want fur at the first part because it's actually 
the smooth space right there. It takes me quite a while to do these rows. So, flipping four, four, two, and two. Again. that up and then right now we're going to do half rows so just two bands and then we're gonna go like that go so these are all plain bands and then we're only we're only going to flip the front two pins. Push everything down. So we're going to ignore these pins. Do the same exact thing. Just to flip the bottom four. On on these two pins. And then we're going to do a full row with our cheek. So right here will be our cheek. So these are going to be plain bands because it's the face. The cheek band is so messy right now. See, it's all messed up. Okay, and the back three is gonna be the fluff. First, I could fill up my hook with some. These bands are actually new. Just spot them. Well, there's no actual, um, I haven't seen an actual store in Taiwan that sells loom bands, but at the internet I do, so I buy all my stuff And then we're going to flip the bottom four on these two pins. And then the eight on the ones that we did half row, bottom four. So four, four, eight. hard to flip because um, the mouth ends in the way, but don't flip that yet. This is going to bring up the top. You could bring the flip bands up, or if you want to, you could do it later. Push everything down, and then, now, you could loop that mouth band up so like that and then
And then we're going to do a row around. So right here is still the face. So to be in normal to here. Face, so no fur bands. All the way around. The mouth could look weird, but it's going to be better later. So right now we will reduce right here. Make sure the top two is separated and then I'll go through the top two grab the bottom two pop the ones on the pin off and then bring it toward the pin above and then we'll do the same thing right here make sure you grab the top two though So top two and bottom two separated, and then go through the top two, grab the bottom two, pop this off, bring it toward the pin above, and then pop this off too, push these down, pull that up, you could adjust your mouth down a little bit. And then right now, we'll do a row around. For the first three spots, we'll have only two bands, no fluff. And then these back three spots will have fluff on them. Pull through, and then go right here. One last spot. Like that, and then we'll flip the bottom four right here, bottom four the middle, and then six at the bottom. Six, four, four. Push those down. You could pull this up a little. Pull the face up, I'm gonna pull the mouth down. And then we'll do the same thing to reduce. Grab, so make sure you're grabbing the top two though. So, top two and bottom two separated. Go through the top two, grab the bottom two, pop that off, pull it towards at the back again, separate the top two, do the same thing, pull the bottom off, and then push everything down, you could, um, you're stuck, and then we'll do two rows all the way around, adding fluff to all of them, just gonna fill up my hole. Should have pushed it up, it's so messy. So like that. First row, put the bottom four. I mean, six the front and then four at the back. Okay. 
second row. bottom four, pull that up, you could pull the fur out, I'm going to do it now, and we're going to increase at the back, so I'm going to bring all up a pin, and then pull the top two down so this won't be crossing and then we're going to bring the top two up so there's no crossing right here it's separate like that and push that down and then we'll do a row with what fill up my hook this time And then start doing my row. Then at the top pin, there'll be two bands, middle pin, two bands, bottom pin, four bands. Same thing on the other side. Push those down, just kind of adjusting the floor. And then we'll increase again. So increase these pins. So first, take these up, so we'll have space, and then right here, grab the top two, bring it to top, and right here, you're going to bring all four up. And then bring the top two back. And then right here, bring the top two up. Right here, you're gonna bring all four up, top two down. So now, looks like that. We're gonna do a row all the way around. Just for now. Everything down. Pull that up. Fur. 
and we'll increase again. So bring the top two on this pin, move it up. Oh wait. We're gonna bring everything up. We'll increase these top two, up a pin, all four, top two back. We'll do a row. So right now we're in six pins, just to make sure we're there. And then I'm gonna add more fluff. So one row and then fluff all the way around. I want that to alternate. Like that, and then we'll flip the bottom four, two, two, four, four, and then four. Same thing on the other side. Push everything down. Pull that up, and then we're going to do our tail row. So the tail is going to go at the back, right there. And then the wrist is going to get fluff. So a lot. It's really time consuming. Fill the hook up. The tail's so short. Well, it is short eventually. For a long, normal llama, anyways. Like that, flip the bottom four. Everything down. Now we'll need your legs. So first we'll attach the front ones. So the legs, there's the front and the back. We're going to use the back ones. So the one closest to you like that, you're just going to place them on to the loop. Right there. So make sure when you flip it up, there's going to be another band pulling through. So same thing on this side. Again like that. When you flip it up, Make sure you can see the bands that you pulled through the second time. And then the rest of it gets fluffed. 
the same thing as we've been doing for almost more than an hour now. Making a llama is a long time. So at the tail you could pull it in more. So maybe when you go to the tail part it would be easier. So now we'll finish the row with fluff. So like that, flip the bottom four. Push your bands down. And then you could pull this up a little bit. And then we're going to reduce basically everything so we're gonna start right here grab the top two bands see where it's coming from it's coming from right here so we're gonna bring them up and these other the, the bottom two are gonna come to we're gonna come across and then we're gonna go to this pin Top two, they're coming from above, so they're gonna go down. And then the other two will go the top, next pin. They're gonna go below, and then the next two will go above, the other side, top two. Like that go cross and then the other two will go down same thing this will go to the top bottom Push everything down, and then we're going to add these two legs. So it's just basically the same thing. You grab the bottom ones, so the ones closest to you, and then we're going to place it right there. So um, it's stretched. Same thing for the other leg. Like that. And then rest of the way around is fluff. Make sure they're all um, stretched. One last spot. Like that. All the way around, long stretches, and then we're gonna flip the bottom eight bands. They are really tight, so basically the top four is the ones that we decreased or reduced, and then the rest is the bottom row. in all the sides push everything down 
fold that up like that and then we'll do basically the same thing actually attach the rest of the legs and then we're going to again fill in the other spots with fluff bands Look, our bottom four bands. Tuck in the sides. And then we're gonna bring this closer. So the far pins are gonna bring them closer. And then, let's see here. Bring everything closer. Well, like that. So like make sure the ones that we bring closer are across from each other. And then we're gonna push those down. So right now, we're going to reduce the middle pins. So, find the top two at the middle pin. It's kind of harder to find. You also got to be careful not to pop stuff off accidentally. Bring them to the opposite pin. Just like we did before, same thing at, same thing across. Grab the top two, see where they're coming from. Bring it to the opposite pin. And then we're going to do a row around with the fluff again after this row we're done. And then we'll flip the bottom eight bands. Oops, sorry, bottom um, six. Push those down. And then we could take it off now. Take your hook, go in through everything. Make sure it doesn't pop off. Like that, take two bands, pull through everything on your hook. Gotta be careful at this part. And then tie a slip knot like that. And then we're going to hide the tail. So go in through some bands, pull the tail band through, and then it kind of just goes into the, the fluff bands. So you're gonna pull out the fluff band more because it's gonna be stuck on pins sometimes. So like that, all the fur's been pulled out. Make sure it's all fluffy. Fix the mouth like that. Push it a little bit. Squish the eyes in, and now our happy llama is done. If you enjoyed this video, please share, like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure to be checking on other of my videos on my YouTube channel. And I will have more videos like this for you soon. Bye!